Hi, in this video we'll show you examples of tasks that your agent will need to solve in the general AI challenge round one. Let's start the first task. Here your agent needs to understand that uh, there is some assignment occurring on the input and some feedback occurring on the same input. Notice that there are some numbers appearing on the input. Uh, there's one, eight, three, seven, six, two. At first it doesn't make sense, but after some time the agent will learn that it's receiving rewards when it's correctly predicting the feedback. So for instance, when a three dot appears, the predicted feedback is number seven. And if the agent lands this mapping correctly and outputs it not just for free but for four, six and so on, he starts receiving rewards. And eventually the agent accumulates enough rewards to move to next task instance. And once enough task instances are solved successfully in a row, the agent gets to the next task. I would like to remind you that your goal in the general AI challenge is to build a gradually learning agent. An agent that acquires a skill on one task and then uses this skill to acquire another skill on another task. The tasks that we prepared for you built on top of each other to help you test and develop this gradual learning property. In this another task you see that the problem is different than before, it's let's say more advanced. This time you are asked to insert spaces in a provided sequence of letters. The letters are English words, but that's just for ease of reading for us humans. It's easier to explain the task to a human also if it's just English strings. So uh, this task already expects that the agent is able to receive feedback on the input, that it's able to interpret the feedback on the input. And uh, that's why uh, you should notice that there's those uh, messages like wrong or good and then the correct uh, output that the agent should have output. Notice that as the agent that is now being played by a human, uh, so as the agent is responding correctly, it is receiving reward. For instance, now the reward co counter moved from minus one to zero. And next time the agent produces a correct answer, the reward counter will move to one. This is the last task that we'll show you. This time the agent needs to manipulate two pieces of data on the input. For instance, the first task instance asks you to say D or C, so you just say D. The next task instance will ask you to concatenate actually two strings together, A and A, so your answer should be a concatenation, AA, and so on. You probably already noticed this, but just to repeat, the agent receives an input, one character at a time, it produces output, one character at a time, and it receives reward, one reward at a time. The reward can be either negative, minus one, positive, plus one, or indifferent, zero. There is also a different kind of interface where you will see the rewards or the history of rewards visualized beneath input and output. That's actually the default interface. To get the interface that we are showing in these videos, you need to run your agent with parameter uh, dash dash curses because it uses a curses library. That's it. Uh, these three tasks were just a brief glimpse. Check out the complete set of challenge tasks at the main website. 
There are around 40 of them for your agent to solve and we are very much looking forward to your solutions. Thanks for watching.